Hi there guys, welcome back to the Eastbourne Fisherman. Today I've come down to a local Eastbourne beach um, and I'm going to have a fish, which is pretty cool. Um, I did want to get some day sessions in, but unfortunately due to the weather um, over the weekend, when I could go for a day session, um, it's been a bit of a blowout. Uh, so unfortunately, um, we're going to do the night tonight into the day. Um, the low tide is 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's about 1.30 now. Um, so we're going to fish it down for a while and then fish it back up all the way to the light hopefully get a nice sunset on the camera um, i say it all the time it just depends on the weather um, that'll be cool so yeah what am i doing tonight and so tonight i'm going to go big on one rod um, i've got the new akios fury rods uh, which i picked up from tony's tackle during the week uh, they look absolutely awesome and i can't wait to use them um, on the first rod i'm going big so uh, we're going for i made up a conga rig so we've got 150 pound mono here um, with a big 80 mustad hook uh, that's going to go on a big bait which i'll show you in a minute um be a be a big bit of mackerel maybe the head of the mackerel uh, and i'm just going to you know, cast it out uh, on a running ledger so that's the first idea uh, on the second rod we're going smaller um, just some small size four hooks a one up one down rig and um, we'll use that for scratching around see if there's anything about uh, if we do get hammered by white in this evening um, i've got live bait rigs with me um, so we'll be using them I've uh, got a whole host of baits tonight, I've got worm baits, fish baits and some squid. Uh, I'll flip the camera around and show you what I've got and then we'll show you how we're going to bait up and then we'll crack on with the evening. Right guys, here's the baits we've got tonight, we've got some worm baits here uh, and then we've got some, it's a nice big mackerel that one um, and there's some bluey there um, and some wraps I made up previously before and then a bit of squid there. So let's get baited up and uh, we'll crack on with the evening. Right guys, so over the first um, rod that we're going to be using, we're just going to be using a, uh, like I said, one up, one down rig, small size, four hooks, um, just with a worm on each, and then tipping off with a bit of squid, so just feeding the worm onto the hook now. It's nice and easy. Now we just get a bit of squid on the end of there. Uh, on the second hook, exactly the same. Uh, another worm bait feeding that all the way up the hook like so now what I'm going to do is going to take a bit of squid cut the face off and cut down the, uh, the skirt of the squid And we just use this white fleshy part just as a small tipping off bait. I'm just going to go through the hook a couple of times just to hold that on. And then we've got the Moon Glow attractor at the top there. We're going to charge them up and uh, hopefully. That'll make a nice little bait there. Uh, exactly the same on the uh, on the second hook. Getting our piece of squid, folding it through, just a couple of times to hold it on, and pushing that worm down, and then holding on, nice with the moonglow tractor at the top. So that's the first rod. That's the first idea. The first rig, just to scratch around. Uh, on the second rod. Like I say, we're going to go big, so we've got the big mustad hook there, um, and I'm going to use mackerel for that, which is here. So I'm going to take my fillet knife and just cut the mackerel about here, and that will be our bait there. And the hook straight in through the mouth and up through the top like so so that'll be my second bait then on the third rod we're just going to go with a standard pulley rig uh, small circle hook there I think it's a 4-0 and I'm going to cocktail some baits up with that so we're going to take our mackerel rest of our mackerel, we're going to cut the tail off. We're going to fill it. 
the rest of our mackerel off there. Hopefully you take that backbone out. That'll leave us with two fillets that we can play with. And we shall wrap the mackerel uh, with some squid. Uh, to do that, I picked up this uh, new bait mate bait binder, uh, which seems to be working pretty pretty good actually. Uh, the bait elastic sits inside, um, and then it just acts as a nice dispenser. I'm using a thin bait elastic on this. Uh, I mean, it comes with um, some different bait elastic options that you can use. Uh, different grades so if you add on the bait pa bait package you'll get four bait elastics to go with it it's a nice little whip in there and then that is our nice cocktail bait of uh, mackerel and squid so i'm going to make up some uh, wraps now and then uh we'll cast the rods out and crack on with the evening right guys so just cast the rods out um cast really really nice the new Akios fury um, quite impressed actually but yeah um, rods are out I'll let you know and keep you updated if anything happens we're obviously out on the sand at the moment so we're down on the beach uh, the tent's a bit further up so if anything happens I'll bring the fish back and I'll show you and I'll let you know what happens so hopefully we can get some fish so wish me luck right guys just a quick update uh, it is now um, the, t the, the incoming tide so we're about two hours into the incoming tide I haven't even had a nibble it's been dead. Actually, tell a lie, I had one small white, but it was, it was just ridiculously small. There's no point really showing it on the camera. But yeah, uh, I am fishing big baits now in the hope of for ray, conger, or bass, or something like that in this area. Uh, it's pretty snaggy, so I've already lost two sets of gear. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, um, it is what it is, but you know, it's good fun. So, um, I will keep you updated as and when if anything happens, but at the moment, um, we're looking um, like it's not going to be very good so hopefully the fish will come on the feed towards the, uh, the, the top of the tide. Right guys so I have to admit it's probably been the worst session I've ever had this year so far to be fair. Um, <laughs> one fish all night and I kept, I kept I kept him to use his bait but I don't think I'm going to bother now. So that's it one fish one measly little white in so far. Um, I parked the car and a ticketed uh, place so I've got about an hour left of the session don't want to jinx it but yeah it's not going great at the moment but like I said when I first started the channel um, you know I said I'll be honest with everybody if we catch we catch if we don't we don't you know and it's, it's my personal journey as well so uh, uh, hopefully you learn something from the video but we still have time, we still have time, so still optimistic that we might be able to, you know, bag just a few more fish. Um, yeah. Yeah, one white in, lost three sets of gear. Uh, it's been difficult, it's been difficult. On the other hand, uh, the, the Akios Fury rods are something else, man, they're awesome. They're really, really good. Um, really, really, really good rods. Um, you can ping a bait out really far with them. Um, and they just seem to seem to hold nice in the tide. Yeah, I like them. I think they're cool. Um, definitely looking forward to using them more. And uh, you know, given my overall opinion, you know, oh, I thought that was a move on the rod then. Yeah, given my overall opinion, as obviously as I use them more. But yeah, uh, first impressions, uh, first time using them, absolutely awesome. Great bit of kit, uh, you know, for a reasonable price. Which is what you want. Yeah, so it's uh, start starting to turn a bit light now. Um, hopefully that will bring the fish on the feed. You know, we don't know. But, you know, just praying for a couple more fish. Come on. Right, guys, so we're into the last half an hour now of the session. Uh, it's been diabolical, but, you know, that's what it is. Um, at the moment, I've got a big bluey bait out with squid on, just as a last-minute ditch hope that we might pull something out the bag. Um, but yeah, no, that's the rod I've been using. Akios Fury FX420. It's 14 foot, really nice bit of kit. If you're local, 
Uh, they're currently in Tony's Tackle Shop, uh, but I don't think they'll hang around for very long. Uh, they've been going like hotcakes. But yeah, it's been good fun. It's been, you know, been out on the beach. You know, what more could you want? <laughs> yeah, it's been good fun. It's been, you know, nice to get out. Um, I think I'm swinging back more to changing my reels over to mono now. Um, I do like the braid, but I'm fed up with the wind knots. Uh, it's probably just due to my inexperience. Um, but yeah, I think I'll be changing over to mono for the foreseeable. Uh, and then just using braid for the uh, competition fishing. If I decide to do competition fishing next year, which is a big if. Um, I'm kind of enjoying the uh, pleasure fishing at the moment, just getting out there and having fun and you know, trying to catch some fish. But yeah, um, I'll keep you updated um, and we'll see you know, if anything progresses. Right on guys, so that is the end of the session. The sun's just coming up behind me over there. It's absolutely awesome. Um, tried out the hell, tried out the hell reason. Tried out the fury today, which was absolutely great. Um, and it's just been a bit of a dud for the fish. The last session, they couldn't get enough of the uh, of the white, and they were everywhere. And then tonight, they just uh, didn't, I couldn't even find the white. In. But you know, it's what it is. I think it's important that I show you know, all my fishing adventures. You know, even even the ones that are pants. So it just doesn't give people you know uh, disheartened if they do decide to go out and buy fishing gear. And they go on a session and they either don't catch any fish or they have an unproductive session. You know, it just means just go out and try again. It's the best thing about fishing. You can go out and try it whenever you want, really. Day, night. You know, just, just give it another go on another day. Fortunately, uh, tonight for me, the fish weren't in. So uh, cheers for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for all your support. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Cheers.